Kesty here. I want to give some examples today, another little example of using uh, forms and processing forms using Python and Bottle. So I have my little um, movie application here that I've been working on in a couple of these videos. And so we have a list of these uh, movies that have been generated from this uh, internal data structure here using this template page. Uh, so let's try and extend this so that I can um, use a form. So I want to add a form down here and let's say uh, I want to enter the name of a movie and um, get a, uh, some information about it or something like that. Uh, so first let's go and design our form. So we'll go back to our template here uh, and um, I'm going to insert a form. So let me type that up. Okay, so here's my little form. Uh, it's got one input field, which is the uh, title, and I've got a label here for that field, uh, that's the title. Um, the name of the field is gonna be title, and then we've got a submit button here. So let's have a look at what that looks like in the browser when I refresh my page. And now we've got a little input form here at the bottom. Let's uh, make it a bit prettier, we might put a a horizontal rule in there to uh, add a bit of space. There we go. Okay, so we've got a little uh, form here, and uh, I can enter a title there and hit submit, and that action on the form is uh, the URL slash form which means that the form is submitted to this URL, localhost slash form, with the form data in the get request. So this is a action, uh, the method is get. So the form data is sent as part of the get request. And so we get this URL request here. Now we haven't written a handler for that, so we've got a 404 response. So we need to go back to our application and let's write the code that is going to handle that uh, request. So this is my form handler. And uh, so we've got to decide what this is going to do. Firstly, it's going to get a the, the information that has been submitted uh, is this title. And so if we have a title submitted, then uh, we want to retrieve some information. So what I can do is I can look it up in this array here to see what we might uh, return. So I need to get the, the title um, out of the, uh, the request that was made. And so here's where I use the request object from Bottle. And so I'm going to add to my import here the request object. Now this is a global variable that we get to use in our handler. Uh, and um, so here I got the request.query is going to be the, the query string. And what I'm really looking for is uh, if title is in uh, the query. Uh, so request.query is going to be a, a dictionary. Let's have a look at the help for that. Okay, so here's the um, help page, or well, this is a tutorial, and looking at query variables here. And so you can see when we get a query string like this, which is sort of like the one that we have uh, got, uh, we can access the um, request.query.page, in this case we're looking for the page attribute, uh, to get the value of that. Uh, so here what I want to do is what I'm saying is if the title is part of the query, then um, I'm going to set a local variable uh, like that. So I can say request.query. There's actually two ways to do it. Request.query.title or uh, like that. Okay, so either of those is equivalent. Uh, this looks nicer. Uh, so I'll use it. Um, in some cases you can't use that if there's a special name or something like that or funny characters in the uh, variable name. But a lot of the time we can use that. So now we've got the value that's that's come out of that. Well let's just first start by inserting that into some sort of result. Um, and then uh, 
title equals no title given let's say so if we didn't find the uh, thing in the request then we're going to do that and we're going to return a template and um, I'm going to call this one movie and uh, and there we're going to say the title is title so now I need to make another template let's go in here So this is the movie details and then do that. So the movie title is title. So that's now our second uh, template. And so when we get this form submission, we're going to get the title here and then we're going to uh, essentially extract the title then we're just going to send it into that template so let's see what happens there okay so let's go back here um, and here I've entered game night I submit and I get here movie title game night you can see in the URL there there's game night so I can uh, actually I can say foobar there and it will say movie title foobar Okay, so it's basically just taking whatever the text is that I enter in title and putting it in there. Now if we wanted to um, go a little bit further, we could actually uh, ask for, so we could actually get some information from our little array there. So we could actually say, uh, let's find the movie with the right title and uh, then we can have the ratings and the income as well. So let's try and do that. Um, here so what I need to do is for movie in movies I want to say um, if um, movie title is title then I return then I'm going to right in the middle here uh, return template Movie, and this time I'm going to say um, movie equals movie. Okay, so I'm going to actually pass a movie in. Uh, otherwise, if we don't get there, I'm going to do return um, template movie equals uh, none. Okay, now so either I'm returning a movie. Uh, in fact, let's take that out of the else because the possibility is that we get a title but it isn't the title of a movie that we know. So if we fall out of this loop and we haven't returned, we're just going to return the template. We're going to make a uh, page of the template with the movie which is none. Uh, so here, if I'm going to go and modify my thing here, let's just stick in movie there uh, and we'll see what happens with that and we can take it a bit further. Uh, later. All right, so now I'm going to say game night and it looks said none. It didn't find game night in my array. That's interesting. So let's see here if we can find annihilation and it said none there as well. So interesting. What's going on? Um, so we're going to, how are we going to debug this? Well, we've got a um, iteration over here let's see we can do a print statement here to uh, print movie out and that should in the window down here print out that movie as we're working it out so let's see annihilation and we get the pattern there and it doesn't work All right so we actually are seeing the movie but we're not getting it uh, I have a feeling this is my problem uh, that comparison is doesn't work in the case of strings like that so let's see if that works better that's always something that I forget uh, that when you can use is and when you can use double equals um, uh, so um, now I have this uh, title here and if I say something like an element then it doesn't find it 
Okay, so now I have the data that I wanted from the array, so let's present it in a little bit of a nicer way. So, um, so I can say the title is the title, uh, and let's, let's duplicate this for the other uh, elements, and the income and the rating. I can probably take my print statement out now, and so I've debugged things. Uh, so let's restart, and we should be able to say, yeah, the movie Annihilation, its income is that, and its rating is that. And similarly, then I can say Black Panther. So let's copy that, and we get the details for that. Um, okay, so we've got a little application now, which can receive the form, input, uh, look up, so retrieves the, the title from the query and looks it up in the little table that we've got and produces an output. And this is a very simple one, uh, that table obviously in a real application you probably want that to be uh, a database uh, and so on, but uh, yeah that's uh, a little example there of a little web application that uses a form to uh, process input data.